And welcome back. Episode number five. Uh, we just pretty much completed the chapel uh, underground tomb area and are making our way up to another area here. But before that, we want uh, we found Lazel finally and we're going to go to our camp so we can dump Gale off and then uh, pick up our uh, fighter. That's what we need. We need a frontline tank. Yes. All right. Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, where are you at? I need to get rid of Gale. He's over here. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I should speak up. A Githyanki joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, I need I need you to remain in camp for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. All right. Perhaps we'll travel travel uh, together again later. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Yes, you will. I need to. F there she is. Chatter already, Tusky. Huh. <laughs> uh, do you know much? Well, we'll to play it. All right. I already know that they would be because, well, Nam would know that. But come on. I understand much beyond your comprehension. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. <laughs> uh, you look so unusual, Get Yankee. You're rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. Uh, true. Uh, I know of Get Yankee, but I've never met one. Or I've crossed paths with Githyanki before. Uh, well, let's see. Nam being level two um, in his day and age. No, he did not meet Githyanki. But then again, that was way back, way back in the earlier days. So in this world, did he meet one? Uh, no, he would not have. Not likely. Um, but he has heard of him. He's not stupid. Um, I know of Gith Yankee, but I've never met one. Of course you haven't. They would have cut you from navel to neck. <laughs> you are no less alien to me than I am to you. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Probably goading me, yeah. Come on now, it isn't that large. No, um... No. Give as good as you get. As if you're up turned bat snout is any better. Better is an opinion. But mine is certainly more economical. Disciplined. Dignified. <laughs> I'd like you to join me. It is done. She's so direct. All right. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Yes, love blood. She gets her action surge at level two. Good deal. All level two. She's a level two fighter. Good deal. All right, so... We don't really... She gets that astral knowledge thing. Um, we will... Take her... That stuff and put that in the camp. She does need to be carrying that. And that can go to Nom so you can sell it. Um... Give that 
No, you can hold on to it, whatever. Quickly then. Uh, get back over there. Looking ahead. They automatically walk back, that's cool. Can't slow down. Something's on my mind. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Uh. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay. Eventually, she'll open up to me. I'll just select. Oh. It's good stuff. We're eating good. <laughs> ah, we are eating good tonight. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Oh. Shit. Hello. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. <sighs> I I wasn't going to hurt you. I I just needed well, blood. There in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is, a vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. Huh. Ah, should I just kill him? Oh. I just kill him or but we need him. Ah. Try to but alright. Better explain yourself real quick, buddy. <laughs> How long since have you killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals. Bulls. Deer. Kobolds. Whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. <laughs> A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. He's an origin character, so he's got a backstory. Ah. Uh, push into his mind, search for the truth. Don't screw this up, no. Jesus, you're just rolling like crap today. You really are. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Oh, great. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. Hmm. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. Hmm. Doesn't change who you are, buddy. You ate animals... You ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. <laughs> uh, why didn't you tell me you're a vampire? Uh, nah, that's ob That's an obvious why you wouldn't tell you someone. <laughs> yeah, you ate animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. I. Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Oh, really? <laughs> you 
You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? <laughs> because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. <laughs> Are you mad? No. No, no, of course. Silly of me to even ask. I'll go and find something on four legs to eat, I suppose. See you in the morning. He might come back and bite us because now, well, he's no longer part of the group, so he'll, yeah, just let him go. You watch him stalk away, slumped, sulking, and ready to kill. Yeah. Keep your friends close, enemies closer. I don't know, it's something like that. I don't necessarily want to kick him out of the group because then we become part of the flock, <laughs> uh, the herd. Morning. I hope last night's little unpleasantness hasn't left a bad taste in your... Well, <laughs> I hope there are no bad feelings. I gotta turn off the uh, helmet for the scenes. Um, uh, let's see here. Hope there's no bad feelings. Uh, <laughs> no, but I have questions. How are you standing in the sun? Oh, I have no idea. By rights, I should be cinders in this light, but someone or something is keeping me alive. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> uh, what's causing this? The Mind Flayer's parasite? That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us? So be it. All right, she's pregnant. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. <laughs> I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. We need him, like it or not. He's not wrong. We're bound together, no matter what comes. Fine. He stays till he's no longer of use. Besides, my flesh is not so easily tasted. Unless, of course, I have offered it. <laughs> there now. That's her way We're of flirting. Again. <laughs> Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. <laughs> ah, that is her way of flirting. That's flippin' hilarious. Um, and he had nothing to say about it. Alright, well, let's go ahead and leave the camp. We have everybody. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, turn that on. Where was it? Show helmet for her, for me. Show helmet. Hide during dialogues. Hide during dialogues. She can. S I like that circlet. We'll keep that there. Uh, and hide during dialogues, just in case. And we can give that to uh, Lazo. What is she wearing? Oh, that's right. Now we have that sword. Yes, that's right. The thing we were so proud to pick up. Um, Lazel, you now have a awesome sword. Um, 
and we're good on the weight distribution good stuff yeah we can work with that all right let's get out of here all right Nom you're good So you have that and that. Um, oh, burning hands I picked up. That's what it was. But instead, we're going to take off the burning hands and put the sleep instead. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. We are good to go. Buff yourself up. Gwendolyn's breeds madness. She has her spell that comes from her race. I'll put that over here. Her racial spell. Uh, oh. Leave that here. Um, it's all our combat stuff over here, really. That's all she needs. Okay, so, for the day, go ahead and take strength. Whatever comes, I'm ready. And you. Uh, let's see here. That's a great sword, so she can't use a shield. But if she did this, she could be at 18. Okay. 1d8 plus 3. This is going to be 2d6 plus 3 plus the 1d4 fire. But she lose 2 AC out of it. So... Back to the 18. Good. All right. Time to rest. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. Let's go investigate. No use digging here. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Ah, wargs. By the nine hells! Open the gate! Bite this guy. He 
he's a vampire now, you know, so. That's nice. Wow. Those tieflings are, uh, well, and some humans. They're handling themselves pretty well. Alright, so everyone's rallied. Eight temporary hit points. <laughs> Good. All right, Shadow Heart. Go ahead and All right, so we've got big combat here, so. Bugger's got 27, so hit him hard. Oh, you missed. Jeez, darling, you are doing so well in the tutorial. Uh, Alright, that's fine. I will ascend. hit points. on the edge. Just out of range. Alright, well, because it's sleep through at least three of them. Mechanic, we're trying to look at, see how this works with counting up the hit points. All right, well, we'll see what we do. Okay. All right, well, we'll take our chances. Hold on. what I get for trying to be greedy and get this guy.
Sneak attack bow. Work. Oh, just out of range. Alright. Oh, I'm on difficult terrain. Darn it. Outside normal range. High ground happy. Damage. Alright. Take what you can. Alright. Good hit. Seven, four. Two critical misses in a row, girl. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. That's a dull moment. Okay, and you're in a good direction. Ha! He wasted the movement to go get his butt up. Grease is so vicious, it really is. Even with his decks. Ten more XP. Alright. Down to just those two. Saved. Nine and five. You're going. 
going to sleep. You're going to sleep, buddy. Everybody's going to get crits on you now. You waste that on arms of Hadar? Really? You missed anyway. Whatever. <laughs> that was the last of them. All right, nobody died. All of you, more may follow. Open the gate. That was kind of a sloppy fight, but okay. And everyone leveled up too, by the way. Well, so like Alright, hold on. Everybody get off the grease. I have to keep going. Shower, get off the grease. I don't know why he was threatened up there. Because there was nobody nearby. What's but next, I wonder? Burn that. Yes, you can blow up grease. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is grease, right? So we'll let that cook off. Nom. Never start, a dull moment. Start looting. That. These boots have seen everything. Cool. Alright. Our first big battle, as it were. Guys, a bleeder. Gloves of power on a melee hit, possibly inflict a one d four, a negative one d four penalty to the target's attack rolls and savings throw. Uh, ah. Blessed by priest's gut. Uh, ah, but only for people that have the mark on their flesh. So we got to get that mark. But we'll take it. Feel like we're being watched. We are being watched. Good deal. Anything else? Empty, 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 empty. Alright. There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! Where there's one goblin, there's ten. I'm leaving before the horde shows up. He's right. We should scrum while we can. Right. Lead the goblins here, then leave the rest of us to fight them off. You coward! What's it gonna take to shut you up, hordes? The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna stand back and watch. <laughs> Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. I hear you. <laughs> uh, so you knocked him out cold? <laughs> uh, clever. Ah, uh, no. Let him speak. He was right, though. 
Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Goblins with the same victory for once? Hmm. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Well, he's knocked out, so let's go ahead and... Um... Staria, why don't you go, um... Pick his pocket. Nah. I not have wished to live in more interesting times. So, let's go ahead and... Very, very quiet. Yeah, go pick his pocket. He's knocked out. That's what you're... You're a thief. Burgle things. Steal that. Zevlor's key? Hellrider's Pride. When you heal another creature, it gains resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Mm. Yeah, and strength saving throws plus one. Take that too. Let's keep to the shadows. Still knocked out. Good. Time to rest. All right, let's go wake him up and move. You ain't got a knock on your head. <clears throat> that guy stole your stuff. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. Yeah, did you expect? Yeah, he Arid, uh, Aridin guy. Yeah, he ran off. He, he took your gloves and everything. That's really sad. Hmm. Ah, better than for the bloodshed. Indeed. I'll survive a sword jaw. This grove has bigger problems right now. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. Huh. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Huh. Uh, I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Ah. <sighs> What brought you here? We are refugees from Elturel. Ooh. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. I know this. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of Elturel briefly dragged to the hells. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> Yeah, El Terrell, yeah, the city went to the hells. <laughs> and then, I mean, the whole city just transported to hell. Boom. <laughs> Big old battle. Then, of course, now it's back on the prime material plane, but it's never been the same after that. Um, uh, well, if your people survived that, they'll survive anything. So I hoped, but we've lost so many already. And more will die if we're forced out again. Hmm. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Ah. <sighs> I'm sorry, I got my own problems. <laughs> Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. <laughs> I understand. I can only thank you for the help you've already given. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. Yeah, maybe my opinion will change. But right now, I have my own problems. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh. Scruffy Vagabond clothes. Let's have a grove down here. Druid Grove. Like they haven't changed too much. Ooh. Oh, shiny chest. Um, Lazel. Like it's well be done. Do me a favor. Repositioning. You have a nice spell that I like. Mage hand. Ta-da! Magical hand that can throw things. Throw that. Up to us, please. Thank you, Mage Hand. Still breathing, despite everything. Oh, we're gonna have to unlock Don't it. Touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> Lock it. Let's crack it open. Add the bones. Um. Actually, no. If she does that. Hold on a second. Mage armor. Oh, she's already broke her concentration. Uh, because she slipped on her butt. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Alright, lockpick. Add the bonus. Oh, just short. Eh, yeah, we'll eat. We'll do thieves tools. Don't waste the inspiration. That's not helping. Yeah. We'll do more. He's, we find thieves tools all the time. Plus, I'm sure we can buy them if I remember, right? That should be enough to do it. Well, that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Arsonist oil. Coat your weapon in oil that transforms the target's fire resistance to fire vulnerability. Ooh. Targets that are immune to fire damage are unaffected. We'll give that to Lazelle. She might want that. Elixir of bloodlust. These are new things. This is great. Drink to enter a bloodlust. Once per turn, when you kill a phone, you gain five temporary hit points and an additional action. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Hmm, interesting. Give that to uh, a star and we'll take the gold. That's cool. Alright. Another step forward. We all leveled up, so we'll level up in a minute. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over uh, us. Traitor, uh, says up here. That's not what I said. Aaron the traitor. Can we stop shouting? No? Refugees. Adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Mm. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Uh, are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. Hmm. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. Huh. Hmm. Dire times, high stakes. Yeah, I understand. Because I'm sure it's it's a supply issue. <laughs> you sound just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanus each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. Hmm. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Okay. Let's 
trading, trading and bartering. There are two ways to buy and sell items. Trading is quick and easy. Just click and go. Uh, bartering will let you haggle the best value. So, and he is pretty neutral. So we can just give him a whole bunch of things and raise that to a better level. Wow. That's a blue. That's new. Gloves of missile snaring. You can intercept missiles, ranged weapon techs, reducing their damage by 1d10. Plus, this my dexterity is about your precious fire. Gate. I care about our lives. Our That's futures. only 400? That's outstanding. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Ah. Take that back. Right now. Stuff. He's got this much. Okay. Ring mail plus one. Change. Change shirt. Oh, the prices are... During... Early access, the prices were really bored. This would have been like 1500 This would have been like, you know, $1,700. Uh. Wow, this is very reasonable. Oh, Muddy Red Eye. Combine this dye with equipment item to alter the colors of the fabric, leather, and even metal. Ocean dye. Muddy red dye, green dye, purple dye, yellow dye. What? No black that dye? Come on. You would choose strangers over uh, us. Let's see. An elixir of arcane cultivation Can gains an shouting? additional spell slot, replaces yeah. effects from other elixirs. That's only 50? That's awesome. Alright. Silver ingot. I'm not sure if that's used in any crafting. And, or topaz, onyx, pearl. Let's just get rid of all the junk. Stuff we don't really need. It's just fodder. Uh, I already read them. Uh, thanks. All right, moving up. Like crossbows. Three or six. Seven left to go. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. Great club. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? Do that. Calm down. Please. I won't leave them behind. No, 
now we're back. So now... Okay. So we want those. Gifts. Yeah. There we go. Now, what we can do is to raise him up for attitude wise. We will just dump. This is about your precious borders game. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back. So, we don't want your money, dude. We're going to give you $100 worth of stuff just for being a nice short guy. I want to see if that increases. Just give it to him. You won't receive any gold from the stage. You, yeah, I'm sure. Ah, good. Raised him up. So, let's give pearls. That's a spell component for sure. We don't even uh, know these people. Now, that doesn't uh, matter. Of course it does. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? I know. There we go. Now he's happier. And prices have improved a bit. Ring of Flinging. Where gains a 1d4 bonus to throw damage. Rain Dancer, that's good. Spell Thief, uh, once per short rest, you regain as level one spell lot slot when you uh, land a critical hit with the Spell Thief. All you need, you just need to have it equipped. Um, Dragon's Grasp, uh, Mixed Burn, Hide Armor. What is this here? Edge Wanderer, so gain a plus one, a uh, nature plus one. Alright, so you get the plus one uh, dexterity settings thrown check, same thing, but you also get nature plus one. Change shirt, one less uh, for slashing damage, that's cool. Um, this is about your precious borders gate. Padded armor, I care about our lives. one less bludgeoning. Our Stupid Let's go ahead and back. see. Right. You have more scrolls. Charm, fog cloud. Cloud of daggers. Expedition retreat, shock and grasp. Good. Fog cloud. Um, take two. Why not? Strange. 
soldiers over us. That's not what I said. Switch. Can we stop shouting? We want. Space. Uh, don't really need it. Thirty-four. I'll get rid of that. Those are worth a pretty penny. Yellow dye, muddy red dye, purple dye, green, and ocean. Well, that's terrible. And yeah, we're doing fine. We already have that, so let's get that. We don't even know these people! That doesn't matter! Of course it does! You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Can we stop shouting? No? No, we should be able to brew our own, so... That's only giving us 30. Jeez. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think so. Keep your money. Yeah, best I could do is 30. <laughs> Ten. Just curious. At oh, twenty-four. He's happy. Good. Uh, oh, I don't have enough for the hundred. He wants the hundred and ten. All right. Visit this. Actually, I do want to scribe at least one something. You got stuff to sell. Good. This is about your precious Baldur's Gate. I care about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that back right now. Okay. Sylvanas, guide your path. Yeah, good doing business with you, buddy. All right, so. Let's get this stuff over to Nom. These spells we purchased. And send that to camp. Uh, did you pick up anything? Oh, Hellrider's Pride. So we'll give that to her. Um, 
So when she heals someone else, that person will gain resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. And she gets a plus one to her sa pl strength saving throws. That's good. Give that back to Nom. That's his money. Uh, bloodlust. They don't even know these people. That doesn't matter. Of course it does. That goes you to would choose strangers over us. Nom. That's not that what I said. Can we stop shouting? No. Get over here. That's not what I want. Get over there. Alright, so no one's got the stuff in their pack. Good. Fire resistance. That's right. That's the one that converts. So he's got two he uh two potions. She's got two potions. She's got five. Nom's got the big old six. Alright. And you for just extra protection. Gloves of Missile Snaring. You can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10, which is pretty much the whole arrow for the most part. Well, if it's like acid arrow, you're kind of screwed. But it's reducing the damage nevertheless. Plus, so 1d10 plus my dexterity modifier, which is plus 2. And we can scribe Fog Cloud. Expeditious Retreat, which he already has, so that's a good thing he can use. I'm too low to use that yet. Uh, already got that guy. Uh, shock and Grasp, so he'll get another cantrip. Don't need this on the bar. Don't need that on the bar. Give that to her. You would choose strangers over us. That's not what I said. Fire Can resistance. Poison huh? resistance. <laughs> All right. I think. Well, it's been an hour. That's fine. We will explore this Druid Grove uh, after we return for the next episode. Which, of course, we will level up and then explore the Druid Grove. That being said, everything's on ask. Outstanding. Thanks for joining. It was a great battle. I liked it. Uh, Nom, you suck on your rolls. And in uh, Shadowheart, you really need to work on that. <laughs> yeah, you need to work on that. But we will see you in the next one. Bye.